Hi guys, Chris here and welcome to a little showdown here between the Mi 5S and the Galaxy S7. Now I'm just going to show you which versions I'm running. So the Galaxy S7 I have has the Exynos 88090 octa-core in there, as you can see here, and that has the Mali T880 GPU. And here I have an Adreno 530 GPU, which is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 that is on the Mi 5S. It seems that uh, CPU-Z that loaded up actually a little bit faster on the on the Galaxy S7 there. So what I'm going to do is just run through some apps here, and we'll see which one loads up fastest. We'll also run some benchmarks at the same time, but I'm going to edit ahead so you don't have to sit through the whole lengthy process of those actual benchmarks there. So I'm going to get started now, and what I've done, I've installed, I have, sorry, the latest firmware on both of these models, so they're both up to date, so there's no disadvantage there. Both of them are in flight mode with wireless enabled. So first up, I'm going to go into Geekbench 4. That pretty much loaded up at the same time, I think. So I'm going to run the benchmark now and show you the results. So the Mi 5S is about to finish. So there we have the score and the Galaxy S7 still needs a little bit more time there. And you can see there that it gets a, a much higher score. So let's have a look now at Antutu 6.2.1. Okay, that loads up first on the Mi 5S for some reason. It's taking some time there on the Samsung. There we go. Okay, so they're almost neck and neck. The Galaxy S7 is slightly ahead here. So the Galaxy S7 finished first and gets a slightly higher score there, almost 140,000 versus 126,000, which is actually less than what I got and the first time I ran this test, which was about 140,000, so I guess it all depends. Benchmarks are one thing, so I'm going to test out now real-world use, loading various applications as well as a bit of multitasking. So I'm going to load up the cameras at the same time and see which one launches first. Looked to me like that was the S7 there. And I'm going to go into speed test, check out the wireless speeds. Now I'm going to have to run one after the other because I don't have two different networks to make the test fair. And now I'll try the Mi 5. Now this is a hard test to do because I don't know if it's going to use the same test server. Okay, so the Mi 5 came out on top there. So I'll load up Asphalt 8. So S7 first to load. No surprise there really because it does have four more cores. So Galaxy S7, very quick to load that. And I'll load up Modern Combat 5. Again, looks like the, the Note, sorry, the S7. I keep calling it a Note for some reason because I've had so many Note devices. 
And there we go, the S7 wins again on the load times there. All right, let's see how they multitask a little bit. Back into recent apps. And just go over to Geekbench, load that up. So the Mi 5 had to reload the app. They do have quite an aggressive battery saving on there and it seems like after about five minutes it will just kill the apps out in the background. So not really good to see it doing that so quick. We'll go through into speed test or CPU Z here. Yeah, it seems the the MIUI is actually killing the background tasks there on that. Or well, something more recent, then we'll go over to Well, where are we? Asphalt. So Asphalt should at least still be running on MIUI. Yes, okay, so it's still running there. Which is good but I think it's about five minutes now you can adjust and change that but I'm keeping everything here stock All right so that's going okay and back home on the two so overall snappiness I think even though the benchmark scores yes they are higher it does actually result here in real-life performance also being higher but we are four cores versus eight cores there and of course, two very different UIs. We have uh, LagWiz, sorry, TouchWiz, and MIUI 8. Okay, so I'm going to do two more tests. That is Play Store. You see a bit of stutter there. That's why it's loading in all those icons. Okay, and the last one I wanted to check out was Chrome. I'll just go to a random website. So I just came up with ebay.com. I have not been to these before, so none of this is cached. Okay, so there's a little speed comparison, a bit of benchmarks there and real life test between the Snapdragon 821 and the Exynos 8890. Thanks a lot for watching this clip, and if you haven't already, I do have a review of the Mi Find S, and I will have a camera comparison coming up between the Galaxy S7 and the Mi 5S here too as well, which was my main intention of buying the S7 was for the camera comparison. So it's 12 megapixels versus 12 megapixels. So hopefully I'll see you later on in some up and coming videos. Bye for now.